Welcome back to another vlog. I have already been out this morning. I don't even know what time it is. It is 7.58 and I have just got back from taking the very large piece of worktop up to the studio because Ikea dropped my worktop off on Friday. It was over 12 foot long, a meter wide and 99 kilos in weight. <laughs> It took four people to get it out of the van and they just put it up against the truck because there's no way they were trying to take that up the stairs where I needed it. So we've just been down early this morning, grabbed a few people from the warehouse. <laughs> they were all absolutely sweating. They needed to put it down at like four times just because of how heavy it was. We finally got it up the stairs into the room, job done for the morning. Now I am about to cover my mini wedding cake that's due on Wednesday in sugar paste. So it's just a small two tier, delivering it on Wednesday. This couple have had to change their plans so many times because of COVID. So they originally had their cake booked in, then they had to change their date, and then they downsized to the mini two tier, and then they canceled that and went back to their original large tier. And then they changed again and decided they were going to have the mini two tier and their wedding cake. But they're going to have their mini two tier for their wedding ceremony on Wednesday. And then they're going to have their larger original plan, I think, for their first anniversary. I don't know. I have lost, I have lost count. There's so many scribbles on these papers. But basically, they're having two cakes. And the first one that they're having is their mini two tier, which is... It's a little bit like their full size one in terms of colouring, um, but it just they get the best of both worlds. They've got a more simple cake and then their crazy one that they originally designed. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing today, covering in sugar paste and seeing how far I can get with that. I baked it over the weekend, but I haven't been 100% over the weekend either. I'm still a little bit iffy this morning. I've just got a bit of a, a bit of a dodgy stomach, feeling a bit nauseous. Just trying to keep my breakfast in my body. <laughs> and I still have Abby at home today. She is in the conservatory on the computer. She's self-isolating until Thursday. Yeah, that's my plan so far. Um, cherry mail. I have all my cherry mail ready to go. Usually I do um, try to send that out in the middle of the month and it's took a bit longer, but I just want to show you because everybody should have received these by the time this vlog goes up. I contacted Shireen, I'll show her a sticker. There's Shireen's sticker. She is a UK cake artist and I have been using these. You'll have seen them pop up in the video when I'm smoothing, when I'm doing anything. Um, you'll see me use some pink ones, but I ordered some nice green colored ones for the Brigadiers. And it's the full set, which comes with the large smoothers, small ones, different shapes, circles. I use them not only for smoothing the sharp edges, but I use them for like smoothing ganache around a, a sphere, things like that. You can pick up a set yourself from Shireen. She does red, blue and green. And I think it comes with a link um, to show you how to use them as well. But yeah, I thought why not send the Brigadier something that I use on every cake. Um, I find really useful. So I got everybody a set of these and they're all sat down there ready to go i just need to drop them off at the post office today and the international cherries i don't think i've shown you these the last last month's cherry mail were these absolutely adorable dessert forks um so the international cherries get both of these at the same time they get last month's and this month's in the same box just because Sometimes the size of the parcel can cost me £16 just to post the box. Never mind what's in it, it can cost me £16 to post it. So it gets a bit, gets a bit crazy. So here are last month's cherry mail and I just could not resist these because these are the cutest little novelty dessert forks I have ever seen. Little donuts. I think my favourite is this blue one, the blue and pink one. Um, but they come in a little box and it just has my sticker on the back. Um, 
good news is if you do want to get your hands on one of these and you weren't a cherry brigadier for last month I have a few leftovers to sell because I had to order a minimum amount <laughs> I do have some um, and I will pop them in the shop when I've got a minute they will go up. I'll post on social media when they've gone up but if you want a set of these adorable little dessert forks I shall pop them in but these are great for tasting sessions or just if you want to feel a little bit fancy eating a brownie with your little pinky sucker because that's how we'll be eating mine. But yeah, you've caught up now, I think. <laughs> and I really need to crack on with this mini wedding cake. And I've just done that entire clip with whatever this is on my head. What is that? <laughs> I've been out looking like this this morning. I just shoved my hair up to get it out of the way and wow. I got my cake fully finished yesterday. Um, this top tier has got the white crystals on. I already have a full tutorial on how to do that so I didn't film this cake because I've already shown you this. You already know how to transfer an image onto a cake because it's in lots of tutorials and I do have a couple of model tutorials on different themed cakes. Um, but here is the couple. This is Gemma and Mike and their dog Luna. They sent me pictures of their outfits. So we've got this nice little headpiece on Gemma. And Mike was in a dark blue suit. Luna was wearing a green collar. So like I said, this is their mini two tier. They do have a full three tier one booked in next year, which looks quite a bit different than this one. On my to-do list today, I am editing the Galaxy tutorial, the Galaxy Geode cake. I need to get that up before 5 p.m. today. I need to get a box for the cake, make the box, invoice it ready for delivery tomorrow. I really want a shower and to wash my hair. And this morning, I now have two children at home, self-isolating because members of their class have tested positive. I am so over this self-isolating. It's annoying because you pay bus money for the whole week and they only get to use it for a couple of days. So you've wasted money because they're not going to be able to use their bus pass. You've also put money on their dinner accounts, which is just sitting there and then you have to find food at home. <laughs> to feed them with for their dinner. It's just really, really annoying. I'll do the editing, get that done, and I'll probably see you tomorrow, to be honest, when I'm looking a bit fresher and I have a venue to go to. There's just not much to show you today. Good morning, it's actually Friday now. I am completely rubbish. I wanted to film the setting up of the cake, but unfortunately it was a turnaround, so. Got all my work done on Tuesday. Wednesday, Adam had the day off to help me deliver. I am hoping to do um, a cake delivery tutorial at some point. Not really a tutorial, but more of how I do it and why I do it that way. That will come at some point, as well as everything else I've promised. But we set off to Shrigley Hall, which was about an hour away. Um, I did film a little bit of the venue from the outside. Gorgeous little waterfall entrance. Huge, massive golf course to look out onto. Huge building really grand inside with like chandeliers and the big sweeping staircase but unfortunately I couldn't set it up because the room that they had the ceremony in with all the chairs set out is also the room where the cake was going to go so that's called a turnaround so the turnaround at venues happens in the middle of the day so they get married and whilst they're off having pictures and stuff done or the guests have moved somewhere else the room will then get its turnaround so they take all the chairs out and they'll put like tables in there instead so they're just turning the room around for the next event that's happening whether that's a meal or a disco or whatever so because of the turnaround your cake just has to sit in like a storage room or an alternative room for the staff then to set up at the turnaround so it was left in the boardroom. I didn't get any pictures or any video of it <laughs> set up. We come home, took another hour for us to get home. We did the boring food shop. We went to B&Q to pick some more paint up for the mural because believe it or not, I got 95% of the mural done and then ran out of the specific paint. <laughs> so it's not finished. 
Yesterday was a busy one. I didn't bother filming. It was very much an admin day. And what I call an admin day is me sat here at my computer for the whole day until late into the night. So it was, let's have a look what I did. I did Kai's digital parents evening. I made the digital downloads for the Cherry Brigade. So on the first of the month, they get a digital download and I drew this Ludo character, which is a phone wallpaper and a matching like app screen for the back. I answered my YouTube comments. I filmed the Q&A so if you are in the cherry tier you get an exclusive Q&A video where you get to ask anything you want and I answer it in video form in as much depth as I can. So I filmed the Q&A and uploaded that. I caught up with everybody in the brigade. Lots of insta stories so again the brigade it's a lot of brigade work I want to show lots of appreciation for my brigadiers, so I shared a lot of their work in my Insta stories. And that can take a while to do. I cooked a ham for tea. I caught up with my emails. I caught up with a wedding email that I was waiting on. And I bought some extra iPad pencil. I've lost my iPad pencil tip. I don't even know where it's gone. I don't even know where my iPad is. Yeah, that's good. Um, so I had to buy some little nibs for the pencil because I've lost it. Today is Friday. I am continuing with admin stuff. So Abby is back at school today. She's only in for one day Friday. Um, Kai's still at home. In fact, he's still in bed because it's not nine o'clock yet. So his lessons start at 9 a.m. So you can guarantee he'll be up at about five to nine. <laughs> so that's how it goes. So today I needed to vlog. I'm doing that right now. I have a wedding cake invoice to write out, have a Roblox cake to design and continue with some of the emails that have come in since yesterday. There's a few things that have arrived that I have bought, kind of cheeky purchases. So let me show you the first one. You'll have seen in a past vlog, um, I sent out these reward charts to the Brigadiers and they come with little cherry stickers that you could stick on once you've completed and what the rewards were once you've completed them all. So I had a goal for personal effort because I don't look after myself. It might be very obvious, but I don't look after myself very well. So my, re my goal steps were to put makeup on for a week. So I've done four days of makeup. I don't really wear makeup at the moment because of the masks, because my mask just gets full of makeup on the inside and it just rubs it all off my nose. So I don't see much point in that yet, but I've done four days of seven days. Need to paint my toes. Haven't got around to doing that. I need to style my hair for seven days and I've done five of those days, so I've only got two more days left. I needed to go and get my eyebrows waxed, which I've done and got a cherry for. I needed to self tan for one week and I've done that for six days so one more day and that one's done and I need to moisturise for one week which I have done. So I've only got like a couple of days of things to do before I could buy myself a work backpack and I need a work backpack to ferry all my order forms and my to-do list with me. I've tried to do it digitally, it's not happening. It's not happening. I've tried to digitise my order forms so that they'll sit in the cloud so that I can access them from anywhere. But because you can't edit them in the cloud and you have to re-download them to edit them and then re-upload them, it's a lot of hassle and I'm, and I'm not a digital person, believe it or not. Love drawing digitally, love graphic design and all things like that, but when it comes to my order forms and to-do lists, the nothing beats my pads and my pens and a nice satisfying highlighter through it when you've done. So that's the way I'm gonna go. So I need to carry all my stuff to and from, the cameras, the chargers, my phone, everything like that, all my cake bits and pieces that I need. So I bought myself a work backpack ahead of finishing my reward chart. And the reason for that is because this is a discontinued design. And if I waited and I couldn't get it, I would be rather upset. So this is my bag. <laughs> it very much looks like a kid's school bag. Um, but it just matches my new Mickey and my mural and stuff like that. 
Um, I actually have this grid pattern on my wall and I couldn't resist. It was on sale because it was discontinued, so I just bought it. What I'm going to do though is going to keep it in its packet and I'm not allowed to use it until I finish my reward chart. Another sneaky reward I've bought before I've finished is to be more active. So you'll see I've got three cherry stickers. So I needed to walk over an hour and then two hours and then walk over an hour and two hours and I get a laptop for work. I would have completed this and finished this had people not been self-isolating because we would have been able to go out for the walks at the weekend like normal. I have three more walks to complete because even if I walk for four hours, I don't get all the stickers for four hours because they've got to be separate walks. That's just the rule I've made for myself. So when it says walk over an hour, if I walk for two hours, I still only get one sticker. So I've got three more walks to fit in before I can get my laptop. But I bought a laptop because I've been keeping my eye out for a very specific laptop that I need. So it has to be able to run very large programs such as my editing programs for the videos. So Premiere Pro I use for editing videos, Photoshop I use for editing photos. These two are massive computer programs that take it out of the computer trying to run it. So getting a laptop with those requirements are very expensive. It is something I have already budgeted for because I knew that when I got this studio I would need a laptop so I budgeted that into the spend. The laptop that I needed was going to be in excess of £800. That's how, just, just how much they are to be able to get like a 16 gig RAM. And the reason I bought it now is because I found a code that got me £200 off and I only paid £600 for it which is a bargain for this laptop. <laughs> um, the offer has since run out. It was only up for about 24 hours, I think, and lots of people missed out, but I decided to get it there and then because I didn't know whether an offer was going to come up like that again. And it got delivered yesterday. I haven't touched it. I haven't turned it on. I haven't set it up because I haven't done my walk yet. So I suppose I better turn it on just to make sure it works. I am a bit of a stickler for the rules <laughs> and I have to get my walks in before I can use my laptop properly so I'm, I'm being good. Although I've bought them I am being good. I only bought them just in case they disappeared and I couldn't get them. Just in case anybody's interested in my other rewards I have losing weight. Um, at the end of that I get to go on a shopping spree for new clothes and I've only gained one sticker but I've only lost one pound because um, it's going to be very hard to lose. I don't think I'm, basically I don't think I'm going to get this reward because I was, I was 10 stone 7 and I already went down to 9 stone 13 without this reward card and I've started at 9 stone 13 and only lost a pound. So because I've already lost that little bit beforehand, it's going to be really hard to lose the rest. <laughs> so I don't think that one's going to get done. And the top one, my goal is to finish the new studio and when I do, I get a rainbow Mickey from Shop Disney which is actually now sold out. So it's not the rainbow, it's not the pride Mickey, it's like a furry, multicoloured Mickey. Um, and he's currently sold out so I don't know what's going to happen with that one. But yeah, I thought I'd, I'd update you a little bit. The studio is currently at a complete standstill because if I'm there, I'm not doing my admin and if I'm here, I'm not doing the studio. So. I just have to work with what I've got. I've built all my kitchen units, but I just need to fit them. And I've got admin to do, so... I don't think I've got anything else to show you, and nothing else is happening, so I'll just catch you up when something happens. Guess where we are? It has been chucking it down all morning, and we've come to the caravan to see if the sealant has worked. Come in. <laughs> where have you been? Oh. Um, we come in to see if the sealant had worked and fingers crossed it seems to have done the job because the table was dry um, and the front windowsill bit was dry so it just feels nice to put the cushions just to put the cushions back in and we've come to clean it all um, it's, it's just dust really it's mainly dust and then the floor needs wiping down but we're hoping to use it next weekend 
So somebody's a happy chappy that his <laughs> that his caravan's not wet. Uh, but the last time we came, just to check the leak, um, we found about five ants. So there were ants running around around the front and up this wall here. And I thought, oh my god, we've got ants now. Um, I don't know how because we haven't kept anything in the caravan that they're attracted to so apparently you get them if you leave like your jam and your ketchup anything like that they're attracted to but we emptied the caravan so we didn't have any food in it and we just thought it's another thing to sort out so we came armed today with ant stuff but so far we've had all the cushions out as we've been cleaning everything and I haven't come across one so I don't know where they've gone unless they've moved on because they can't find anything to eat which would be the best thing but so far we haven't found any so but we've got the ant stuff just in case we do get them again at some point abby is at her friend's birthday party today so we dropped her off this morning kai is still self-isolating so we thought we might as well come out and get everything cleaned up for next week Good morning again. It is now Wednesday. I really shouldn't try to vlog on weeks where it's just crazy busy. You just end up watching a person unravel right before your eyes. So, good news is that the caravan seems to be not leaking. You fix one and another one starts. So Abby's room, yes, the one we already paid and fixed <laughs> to be fixed, is now leaking again. I am working on a cake today. I'm working on a cake for the next two days to be ready for Friday. I didn't do anything with my hair last night. <laughs> I just washed it and went to bed with it wet. So this is what it ends up looking like. <clears throat> and I'm getting so annoyed with my hair. I used to have thick hair and it's just falling out. Like it's really, really thin now. Imagine that time times this side for a little ponytail. Um, I have it done purple as you know it lasted what two weeks before it went orange again on the ends and I am so tired of it doing that the top stays somewhat dark turns to like a reddish purple and the ends have gone orange within two weeks so I am I am ready just to chop my hair off Oh, I did get a parcel though, which cheered me up, thankfully. It's from lovely Brigadier Patricia. I I love that she signed the end of the letter P because I just randomly give them nicknames that they never asked for. The OGs of the forum, like the original people who were there, they just they just randomly get nicknames that they, they don't want. And I call I've always called Patricia P. <laughs> and she signed it P, which was very nice. But first up is this amazing Disney Villains mug. I actually was sent one of these from another Brigadier not long ago. So now I have a matching pair, which is always nice. It's nice to have matching mugs. So I got that and then this amazing Mickey cookie jar. Um, I've kept all the fixings on. These are the fixings that's holding his head on, which is the lid. Um, and I've kept it on because it will be easier to transport to the studio with it like this. I will 100% break it if I take them off. And I cannot wait to put my goodies and biscuits in this for when I get hungry at the studio. This is going to house all my biscuits that usually get eaten at home. I buy biscuits for myself. And um, because I'm, I try to be good, I, I won't need a biscuit till like four or five days after shopping day and they've all gone. So I can put them in this, in my studio and I know they're still going to be there. Unless Adam sneaks in for one. <laughs> but how cute is it, this cookie jar? And, it's, and it got here in one piece as well because it's made out of like ceramic pot. Um, and it made it through the post absolutely fine. So thank you Patricia. She mentioned like from one July, July born to another because she has a birthday in July. Mine is at the very, very end of July and I have the same birthday as Harry Potter. So yeah, I just needed to come on and give the vlog an ending. It's just been one of those weeks. I may be uploading a sneaky vlog next week because we are hoping to go away at the weekend. It's only a little short trip, but I might vlog it. 
yesterday's tutorial went up I that's all I've been doing I didn't even explain where I where I've been since <laughs> since the last clip I've just been editing sat at my desk I'm making the Roblox cake so the tutorial that went up was this zombie wedding cake this is the cake that I made last year and I filmed last year and I've only got around to editing it because the shoot only just went ahead we had to cancel it because of Covid the shoot came around again so I was able to edit the tutorial and put that up so if you like zombies if you like guts and you want to know how to make edible blood that is now up on my channel but I'm going to go try and scrape my life back up off the floor and squash it back into a ball and I will see you again probably next week.